this tutorial I'm going to explain to you what plugins are and help you understand them. So plugins extend the functionality of WordPress, but what the heck does that mean? So for example, if you want a contact form on your website, a form where someone fills it out and they uh, press send and it goes to your email, WordPress by default doesn't have that ability to do that. So you need to download something and what you download is a plugin and it just extends the functionality of your website. Another example would be a really nice photo gallery. By default, uh, WordPress doesn't have a really great one. So you would just download something and install it and it's free and it will help you uh, extend the functionality of your website again. So if we go to our dashboard here and we click on plugins, then we click on add new, we could go here and we can search for whatever we want um, and things will come up where that people have built that help you uh, make your website better. So let's look for uh, a contact form. So here we can see all the different contact forms people have made for WordPress. And so this is one and the ratings uh, four out of five stars. Obviously you want something that has good ratings. If you hover over it, you can see how many ratings there are. So that's pretty cool. To get more details, you can click on the details button. And you can look at screenshots. So this is what the contact form looks like on your website. So screenshots is very important. The description is very important. So you can read all uh, what different features it has, if it's available in different languages, and uh, things like that. You can see how many times it's been downloaded. Uh, if you click installation, you can see how to use the uh, contact form. So I'll explain this later when we actually install a plugin and not just an overview. Um, if you want to install it, you could just click install now. So we'll click install now here. And then click activate. Now we see this new tab right here, B at BWS plugins, and we see the contact form. So I'm not going to explain to you now how to use this. I'll do that in a later uh, tutorial. If you want to delete a plugin, you just go to plugins, scroll down, and find it. First you have to deactivate it, so just click deactivate. Then you find it again and you click delete. So we could go back to plugins. And let's say we wanted to add new and we wanted to do a slider, an image slider basically. We can see the different ones with the different ratings and we could go to details. And if we don't like the details, we can X out of that. We could go to the details on the smooth slider. And one, something that's really important is to also, if the uh, installation isn't uh, clear enough or the screenshots aren't uh, good enough, you can also go to the plugin homepage. So someone built this plugin and this is their home page and it most of the time it gives you more information about uh, how to install it and it might even show you um, a description or a demo of the slider in use. So each plugin works differently. Not all plugins are going to be over here on the left side. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about plugins. Uh, for more tutorials, please go to knuton.org. And in the next tutorials, I'm going to show you how to actually install plugins. Thanks a lot.